and again. Hey everybody, how's it going? I've got another brand new music video reaction slash review coming at you today. And this one is for So Crazy by Tiara. Looks pretty interesting. Let's check it out. Not exactly sure what's going on. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sierra 9, the Great Sound Gang, 2015. Let's make some Mid-rangey, kind of blaring sound to it. Getting in the way of the vocals a little bit. Alright, I like the little piano part, that was cool. The one thing about this song, it's really lacking their sort of normal like dance club bounce thing that they do in almost all their songs. So it's definitely a departure from the usual tiara thing. Which isn't a bad thing, but that's kind of what I really like about them. Because nobody else is really doing that consistently. But now they're kind of going away from that, at least on this song. It's got a nice little like vintage-y kind of sound though. A little bit of like piano accents going on. Definitely a vintage sounding like percussion drum kit. Thumbs down. A little bit of like an instrumental break here. Wonder how they'll handle this live. This build up is really good. I like this.
song was gonna come back in. It still might. This is like a really extended storyline. And I know that's something else that Tiara has done in the past. Oh, the song did kind of come back in. And again. This is reminding me of Like a Cat by AOA, where it just like wouldn't go away. It just randomly kept restarting in the music video. <laughs> A whole reprise of the chorus. Yes. I don't want to speak too soon, but okay, it did actually end. Huh. That was interesting. I mean, I liked it. The music video was really cool. The concept was cool, but the song was definitely kind of un tiara like One of the things that they do really well is that they have kind of a more club, dance, EDM, bouncy kind of feel to most of their music. They've done that with a lot of songs in the past. Number 9, Lovey Dovey, you know, it's got that sort of accented, upbeat, bounce thing going on. And they've managed to integrate that really well into K-pop. And then like with Sugar Free, that was a really EDM sounding song, but it worked well as a K-pop song. So this release, although it's good, is a little bit confusing for me, because for me it kind of takes the uniqueness out of Tiara. And it's not because they're doing something different. I'm not saying they should keep doing the exact same type of song over and over, but when they did do something kind of different here and diverge from their usual sound, instead of trying something unique, I think they kind of ended up doing something that was new for them, but not new for a whole bunch of other girl groups. So even though they were branching out for them, in a sense, they ended up sounding more like a bunch of other girl groups that already sound alike. But having said that, it was still an enjoyable song. You know, it wasn't bad at all. It was just kind of strange hearing this come from Tiara. So let's jump back in, listen to it again, and analyze it. I'm gonna skip over the sort of lengthy intro and just go right to the song. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiara I can't really tell what's going on um, between the arrangement choices and tones they used and then the mixing and mastering. It's a little bit blurry, like in the entire mid-range, especially in the upper mid-range. Um, it's just got a little bit of like honk coming through frequency wise if that makes sense and it's just kind of loses some definition up there I think and it does kind of get in the way of the vocals a little bit too that happens a lot when you're trying to do vintage sounding stuff because a lot of vintage audio stuff had a rolled off high end and a rolled off low end so you get lots of stuff sort of building up in the mid-range and it can sound kind of like that and just get a little bit harsh. That's what I'm hearing in this. Makes it a little bit hard to distinguish things in the mix. Um, a little bit hard on the ears. I mean part of it's my NS10s because they accentuate the mid-range but um, it's definitely a little bit overdone here I think. Also, the beat is lacking like some impact. Usually their stuff is like super heavy EDM uh, type of rhythms. I really like that. This song is definitely a completely different direction uh, by design, but I do miss that. Um, at least what I expect from a Tiara track. That part's super cool. It's a really interesting thing they threw in there. It's really good arranging. And their vocals sound good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just kind of like, it's kind of middle of the road for me. Nothing really like wowed me or grabbed me uh, in this song. It's just like a solid release, but nothing magical for me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. kind of weird break in the song. 
Uh, it actually worked really well because the uh, the combination of how they sort of broke the song up and then the plot of the music video. You know, it wasn't like they just completely stopped it and then started again. That sort of happened towards the end, and I'll talk about that when we get there. Uh, but I'm wondering how they're going to handle this like on the album and during live performances. Like, are they going to do a catwalk thing, or are they just going to cut it out? Uh, that'll be interesting to see. But, you know, musically it's not horribly out of place, so I don't mind when... Uh, Groups do stuff like this to facilitate sort of an extended music video. Some cool vocal layering there. I also like the backing track there a lot. Their vocals are really good, it just sounds like they're not really singing with a ton of intensity and passion. I mean, I know part of it is kind of the style of the song, it's supposed to be you know, a little more fun, not too serious or anything, but I do miss that from Tiara, because um, they're capable of a lot. They're a really great group. Especially recently, I think they get overlooked a lot. And then there's this whole weird, random outro thing. I don't mind the catwalk section and the instrumental bridge thing in the middle, but, or interlude or whatever you want to call it, but this thing at the end, this is just, musically it just doesn't work for me. And see there's some really cool vocals going on in the background when they've got it all filtered out and you can barely hear it. I heard some awesome ad-libs in there. Why is that not in the full song? Or at least if it was there in the full song, like why is it not brought out way more? Like here's some of that. Just a little bit. It's like all the ad-libs are super buried in the mix, the level is really low. I wish they would have brought that out more, because it brings a lot of excitement to the track. It really shows off their vocals as well. And there they finally, you know, boosted an ad-lib right at the end, but that was about it. So yeah, I'm not really sure how to feel about this song. It was definitely interesting. Definitely not my favorite Tiara release, though. It was just okay for me. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction slash review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you could share this video all over the place, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, forums, all that stuff really helps us out. And I'll see you guys next time.